as a kid in Detroit growing up, you know, he took field trips. He usually went to the Henry Ford Museum or the River Rouge plant. And he'd go to the Henry Ford Museum and there would be the red number one Mark IV, the Le Mans winning car. And then my love just started from there on about the Mark IV. Hey, Mark. The last time I saw this tub on the track was we had just completed the car at Carcraft. And we took the car to a Ford test track. So we were having lunch as we do. Uh, Mexican cuisine is our specialty. And um, we were just talking about, you know, how beautiful the cars were in, in the mid, the late 60s especially. Just the, right before aerodynamics, the, before they started looking at airplanes. Jim Matthews and myself were talking about things to do together, and we heard that through a mutual friend of ours, Tony Ave, that car craft could be for sale. So we started to look into it deeper, got the contacts with Tony, and reach out to, uh, reached out to them, and sure enough, it was for sale. So uh, I went and looked at all the inventory and what they had, and then uh, Jim decided to pull the trigger, and here we are, you know, uh, whatever, probably three years later, you know, at our first track test. For me, what was as special as sitting in the car, driving the car, was having, you know, a couple of the original folks involved. You know, Bob Riley, obviously, and then the guys from Roush came down. Um, so that bringing these guys together is, uh, you know, that's as special as actually sitting in the car. The storyline in the movie Ford versus Ferrari, but this is kind of a continuation of that. Kind of where that movie ends is kind of where this picks up. At least is my understanding of the history. But um, yeah, this was built to, to win them all. And it ended up winning Sebring with Mario, my, my grand uncle Mario, and, and Bruce McLaren. So, and then it won that Le Mans. Um, I believe it was with Gurney and Foyt. It's lively to drive, which is really fun. And um, yeah, so that, that's really cool. And, and the fact that it's it's got a lot of power and it's got very little downforce is makes makes it fun to drive. So it's cool for anybody that wants to have something to take to the track, feel like they're they're being a part, as you know they're part of history, but also have something they can really go out there and have some fun with. Craftsman, we have uh, at, at back at Riley's, they just did a great job building this car. Uh, the fabrication is just is just great. So. Uh, the car really turned out quite well. It's quite exciting to see it run again.